Hey guys, this is Stefan from Apprentice IT and today I'm going to show you how to track website visitors and see recordings with their actions in real time. Now we're going to use this wonderful analytics tool called SmartLook. So you can find this tool by browsing smartlook.com and we're going to integrate this tool with our uh, dummy website. This is a dummy website of mine that I'm using for this video's purposes. Alright, so let's not waste time and uh, let's make an account. To create an account, just go to smartlook.com and create a free account. This is completely free. You just add your email and create a password and the whole process takes about two minutes or so. Now I already have an account so I'm going to log in. Okay, so let's log in. Once you're logged in, you will see basically a bank page without any project in it. You are, um, since this is your first project, we are going to create one from scratch. So let's click on create project. We'll select the project name, we'll introduce a project name. In our case, we're using this website, which is geniusdoggy.com. So we'll just put in here www.geniusdoggy.com and create new click on create new projects all right so once this this project has been added all you have to do is click on back to the smart look button here and you will see that in order to activate smart look on your website you just need to copy and paste this code uh, between the header tags of your website. So now let's just click on copy the code. All right, the code has been copied to clipboard, and now um, we just need to paste it in the header between the header tags of our website. In my case, I am using a WordPress installation, so it's very easy. I simply go to my dashboard, and then I'm going to navigate to Appearance Theme Editor. And on the right side here, you see it is section called header.php. I'm going to click on header.php. And I'm going to paste the code between the header tags. You see, if I click on this head tag, the header tags get highlighted. And now I'm going to paste the code ju just after this meta. Let's paste it here. Okay, and just click on update file. Okay, so now that the file has been update, updated properly, all I have to do is to check if this works, is open your bro a new browser tab and go to geniusdarky.com and let's navigate on this page to see if any recordings appear in the uh, Smartlook dashboard. Let's refresh this page for a second. Alright, so this already works. As you can see, I have an active session here, which uh, is recording the behavior uh, on the website. Okay, so let's talk a bit more about uh, why this, uh, this online tool is very useful for your business or for your projects or for a, whichever reason you might own a website. This is very cool because it's um, it's useful if you are interested in understanding how people interact with your website, um, if you want to make decisions about which content is more appealing to your visitors, or uh, if you have some design elements that you want people to see, uh, this tool helps you decide where they should be placed. Uh, and obviously, um, you can fine-tune your website based on your visitors' interactions with it. So now this uh, this website, this genius doggy website that I have made is basically a sales funnel which contains a couple of questions um, related to dogs. It's meant for uh, dog lovers and at the end of the questions they get um, a, free, a free PDF with a dog game and obviously 
uh, this sales funnel uh, sends the user to an offer page which contains um, uh, uh, video courses, some paid video courses by a certified instructor. Okay, so my my interested my interest in this case is to see uh, what you know, my users are doing on the web page. So now let's simulate some behavior. For example, I will answer these questions. Choose your dog's breed. Okay, it's a boxer. Let's go to the next step. Choose whichever sounds familiar. My dog is aggressive. My dog keeps jumping all the time. And my dog doesn't listen to me. Okay, and let's click next. Now the form asks for some input related to the dog. My dog's name is John and he is a puppy. Let's click next. Okay, so and this landing page is basically telling the user that if they uh, just input their email, which is optional, they can receive uh, a free uh, at home training ebook via their email okay so if they put their information they will receive that pdf if they're not interested in this landing page they can just simply continue to the course so i'm thinking i would like to see how people interact with this web page specifically if there are people who click on this button okay so i'm interested in the con in seeing uh, how many people click on continue the course to the course button so this is the first event that I would want to track on this web page now the last page which is called the thank you page is basically underlying the courses uh, topics everything from potty training to hyperactivity excessive barking and so forth and so on and uh, telling the viewer all the benefits that they would have if they would purchase such a course all right so this is not a sales video so uh, I'm just going to show you the last button that I'm interested in tracking which is this button and it contains some text so I would like to see from the user interaction how many people click on this button okay so now if we go back to the smart look tool we are capable of seeing a recording okay so let's click on this play button let's go back to the dashboard actually so I can show you more information now we can add different uh, on the dashboard we can add different um, elements to it for example we can see uh, the top visited web pages we can see uh, top countries since it's only Romania my country for the moment we don't have any data but you can also see devices okay these will get updated once the uh, recordings finish okay so it's not 100% real time as it takes a couple of minutes for every recording to finish and this happens after the user leaves the web page okay so if I click on this a button I'm going to leave uh, the uh, genius doggy website and go to the offer page and now the recording should finish okay so let's just click on this play button here to see to actually show you how this uh, software works right so now the speed is 1x if you want to see the uh, user's activity, user's interaction in, um, I don't know, slower, you can select uh, 0.5x. <clears throat> and this will show you exactly what a user does on your web page. Okay, you have hotkeys which allow you to, um, I don't know, play, pause, go forward 5 seconds, go back 5 seconds, add notes, increase speed, decrease speed, and so forth so now basically if we go a little bit faster on this timeline 
you can see that information that I have inputted here, what I have selected, and obviously the time I have spent, the uh, text that I have scrolled over. This is very important. This is very important because it shows you how much people actually uh, uh, spend, how much time they spend on each web page and which uh, sections of content are more relevant to them. Okay, so now if I want to track that button that I am interested in, the last button which uh, takes the user to the uh, thank you page, I can simply add an event in this platform. Let's uh, get out of this page and let's go to the events section. Now, in the events section, we're going to add a new event, okay, and we're going to click on this button here, the clicked on text, and select this filter here. So, clicked on text, and the text contains. Let's see what the text contains. Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, nope, it's not here. One second. It's not here. Let's go to the web page again and see how that button, what's the name on that button? And the name on that button should be the name on that button should be get Adrian's course. Okay, so we should be looking for a button that starts with get. Let's start with get get Adrian's score. So basically this is the text of the last button that I'm interested in tracking. And now I'm going to click continue. We're going to give this event a name and it's going to be called uh, get course button. You can also add a category. This one's optional. We're not going to uh, create it now and save and apply. Okay, so we've created an event which can be seen here in the events page or you can add it to your dashboards. And how do we do this? We simply go to our dashboard, we click on this plus uh, element here to add another section to our dashboard and we're going to select event and from the event list we're going to select get course button. Okay, and now we're going to save this here. And it's going to show us, in a couple of seconds, boom, okay, the events that occurred related to that button, okay? So, we are, we are capable of playing the recordings in which this event occurred. And if I click on this play button and go to these sessions, I'm going to be able to see this, okay? So this is one session in which this event occurred. Alright guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. Please let me know if you managed to track your own visitors and events. See you in the next video. Thank you very much for listening.